earlier today, this kid was struggling to ride straight without falling over. No joke. Now, he's doing this. And falling over. That's mud, right guys? Oh, it, it's not, you didn't step in any like cow poop or dog poop or donkey poop. Donkey Kong! Mason poop. <laughs> I never poop in the woods. Here Mason, use this putty knife to try to scrape your poop off the bottom of your boots. That one's pretty good. Here, get that one. Ah! What? Are you supposed to do it like that? You mean inefficiently? No, no, you're not supposed to do it that way. Here, just hold it. Hold the boot. <laughs> Better. You want to go back? The thing I like about Mason is the cleaner the bikes get, the dirtier he gets. Let me see your legs. I got you. <laughs> hey, stay still so I don't get crazy. Okay. Lillian, are you proud of your brothers for getting their bikes so clean? Lillian, they okay. They are almost as good at riding as they are at cleaning their their stuff. See, look how clean this is. See, look at that. That looks like Dad's job when he clean, goes and cleans his car. What are we doing the Q and A video? No, I need to. Oh yeah, we got to do that. Huh? <laughs> we got to do the Q and A video. We'll do it this week. This looks much better, guys. Good job. And we're not even like halfway done. Okay, guys. So. We just got these uh, new dirt bikes. We got a CRF 50 and a, well this one's used. We got the CRF 50, I think it's a 2013. And then we got the SSR 70. We got them so that we could do a comparison video. We haven't done that video yet, but we did go ride it once. And we gotta do a little bit of maintenance on the SSR because it's only been ridden once. When I bought it, they said to ride it an hour and then change the oil. So we need to change the oil and then you ride it for another three hours and then change the oil again, right Mason? Yeah, that's what they said. Expensive. So we're gonna go ride it a little bit again today, hopefully, depending upon how much daylight we have left. Yeah. And what else do we need to do? I also bought a better air filter, but I don't know if I'm gonna put that on today. Let's check the chain. Chain's a little loose, so we'll probably tighten that up. So we gotta change the oil, we gotta tighten the chain, and then hopefully have a little bit of time to go ride today. What do you do? Go down to first gear, and then if you want to go into second gear, you push it down again. Well, that's one of the things I don't really like about the SSR is that the shift pattern is different than what a normal dirt bike is. It starts up and then you shift down in order to go up a gear, whatever. It, got, it kind of took a little bit longer than I was hoping for. First to change the oil and uh, and get the bike ready. The sun's starting to go down, so we might have like 20, 30 minutes. We'll see how it goes. The last time we went riding, it was just too muddy. The kids really couldn't experience or, or learn what they were doing or practice just because it was just a struggle just to, just to get going. So this should be a little bit better. Okay, you've been riding in first gear the whole time. Once you get going, shift, push down, and it'll go into the next gear. Okay. 
Oh man. Where'd my son go? <laughs> Just riding through the weeds. I don't know if carving through the grass blindly like this is a good idea. He could run into like a homeless family for all we know. We always struggle trying to find places nearby to, to ride. It's hard because we don't, we live in a condo. We don't have like a big backyard. There's nowhere for the kids to really ride. Tracks aren't, aren't nearby, but they're also expensive. There we go, and there's not really like, great places for them to learn. We're uh, kind of in between a shopping complex. We got like a Walmart over here. We got like a Costco over here. So we got the uh, jump builder Mason here. It's building a little takeoff whip for Luke. Here he comes, look out Mason. No, no, I, look out, look out, move. Nice, Luke. Standing up, head over the bars, nice. Good job, Luke. Can clean that up. We brought the little kicker ramp. If we had more time, I could build him a decent landing for him to hit the little wooden ramp, but we're chasing daylight right now. We're running out of time. So I'm just trying to see what we might have around here that we could use as a landing. So far, the only thing I'm really seeing is this right here. That that could be that could be our landing right there. So what if we what if we put the ramp like right here and use this as a landing? Wait, where? What if we put the ramp like right here and then use this as a landing? Yeah, yeah, try that. I'm gonna go get the ramp. Uh. Where'd Luke go? There he is. <laughs> you good, bro? Yeah. I tried it. I liked it. I tried it. I like it more. It's cool. 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 Okay, are you done or you want to go again? I was going so fast. Yeah, you were going way fast. Going up, can you move the ramp, ramp up and down? Move it so you can crash but without the ramp again? Okay. What are you doing, Mason? Can Luke have a turn? Mason, getting a little aggressive there. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna move the ramp. All right, so we're not sure if this ramp is a good idea or not. I'm gonna watch Luke hit it a few times without the ramp. What do you think about this being your landing right here? Yeah, I'll set the ramp up right at the top of there and this could be your landing. Nice! He wasn't even going that fast. I feel like we should scoot it back some. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Mason. Trying to get style? Trying to do a little cross up, Mason? Dad, watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> okay, earlier today, earlier today, this kid was struggling to ride straight without falling over. No joke. Now he's doing this. <laughs> And falling over. Yeah. Mason, Hi. you okay? Hi, uh, 
I don't know if you really had a straight line towards the jump. I think you're kind of like coming at it from an angle. Good. I died. Is that why? Good job, buddy. Is that why? Woo! Nice. Good thing I didn't break my neck. Yeah, that's probably a good thing, huh? Well, I get paralyzed. Yeah, probably a good thing you didn't get paralyzed, huh? Okay, Luke, do you want to try it? Yeah. I it's getting dark, so oh. it's kind of now or never, so. You might, let's let's probably put your helmet on first, though. No, I'm good. You Gucci? Yeah, I'm good, bro. Ah, oh, my this. neck hurts. Your neck hurts. Let me see. Oh, uh, you kind of scraped it. Okay, Luke. Your little brother jumped it three times and only crashed once. So let's see how many times you could do it without crashing. Hey, no, Luke. Luke, my neck. Just don't go too fast, Luke. Don't over jump it. Don't go too fast. What? Right, Mason? Do you think yeah, it's better to I go? Is it better to? Is it worse going too fast or too slow? Do you think? Oh. Too slow? You went pretty slow the first time, and you did it perfectly. I'm just worried that if you hit that thing with any speed, you're going to be landing like down there. If it was me, I would want to scoot the ramp back a little bit, but I'm not going to make the boys do that if they don't feel comfortable. No. Not too fast. Uh, you just slid out in the dirt. I think, well, I think you're in first gear. Let's try it in second gear. Woo, yeah. Over jumped it. Do you want me to pull the ramp back? Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, we gotta move back a little bit. Oh, that's first gear. You're in first. Oh. Hey, bro. You're in first gear. You're in first dead gear. 